One of the largest departments at Utah Valley University, the Emergency Services Department, provides vital education and training services to the state and to emergency service professionals everywhere. Emergency services housed in the School of Technology and Computing consists of three platforms, academics, the Utah Fire and Rescue Academy, and the Institute of Emergency Services and Homeland Security. The Emergency Services Department prepares practicing and future emergency services personnel to meet the challenges of today and tomorrow. Students increase their technical skill, general knowledge, critical and ethical thinking, and communication skills. And the Emergency Services Department offers two one-year certificates, an associate in, a, in science degree, three associate in applied science degrees, and a bachelor's of science in public emergency services management. The two one-year certificates are designed primarily for uh, the aspiring firefighter or the aspiring paramedic. Utah Valley has a unique situation in the state of Utah. We are the only institution of higher education that offers degrees in emergency services management and fire-related education. We also, in conjunction with that, have a contract with the state of Utah that is managed by the Department of Public Safety where we provide actual hands-on training to the firefighters throughout the state. So you can take a class from us and at the same time be earning college credit right in your own backyard. We take our equipment, our instructors, and all of the things necessary to put on the classes throughout the state. And uh, the students have an option of just taking the training for free or paying for the college credit and working towards a degree. We have a bachelor's degree in emergency services administration that is the only public or emergency services management degree at the bachelor's level in the state of Utah. Police, fire, and EMS specifically, their schedules uh, those who are working in the field do not accommodate coming to the traditional type classes that universities offer. So therefore we've created an online program where um, students can get their degree 100 percent online working at their own time and their own convenience um, around their schedules of life and, and work. Along with our bachelor's program we have associates programs. You can get an associate of science or an associate of applied science in fire science. We also have a Recruit Candidate Academy here where firefighters or people who are interested in becoming firefighters come for training. This particular program is unique. It's, it's uh, basically the only one in the state with college credit attached to it. Uh, but after meeting prerequisites, our students can get into the course and actually learn all of the things necessary to get hired as a firefighter. Serving as the state agency responsible to certify firefighters, the Utah Fire and Rescue Academy, UFRA, has provided training and certifications for more than 45 years, annually delivering over 250 training courses to more than 5,000 firefighters and administering more than 6,000 certification tests to members of over 160 emergency response organizations. UFRA's nationally accredited program offers 25 levels of certification. Being nationally accredited is basically a, a statement of success. The awesome thing with the Utah Fire and Rescue Academy is that we're accredited within two organizations. The first organization is the is IFSAC, which stands for the International Fire Service Accreditation Congress. The second organization that we're accredited through is the National Board on Fire Service Professional Qualifications. Being duly accredited only uh, solidifies the strength of our program nationally and internationally. Not only are training courses offered at the Academy, but also at various locations throughout the state. The unique thing about the Utah Fire and Rescue Academy is the way we deliver courses. We are uh, all over the state where we can deliver courses to remote locations. And we do that uh, right around, we deliver right around 250 courses uh, throughout the year. Not only are we training uh, these individuals in these remote locations, we're also certifying these individuals in remote locations. UFRA supports training through partnerships with the Utah State Fire Chiefs Association, Utah State Firemen's Association, Utah Arson Investigators Association, and the Utah Division of Forestry, Fire, and State Lands. Most recently, UFRA opened the Command Training Center at the Provo campus, one of only 11 such facilities in the nation. 
The CTC uses state-of-the-art computer simulation to teach and train emergency responders. The Command Training Center was created for one purpose, and that was to save firefighters' lives. Because the opportunities have decreased for the firefighters to go out and, and work in these emergency situations, they've decreased, and so they come to the Utah Fire and Rescue Academy, and they go through the CTC and basically work through these scenarios, which gives them the opportunities to, to go through and, and actually work through the emergency process. In 2008, UFRA will begin using its mobile command training center to teach on the road. In response to the heightened interest in Homeland Security due to the events of 9-11, Utah Valley University created the Institute of Emergency Services and Homeland Security to support the training and education needs for the region. By working with public and private agencies, the Institute provides faculty members, students, and communities with opportunities to work together to enhance research, education, and standards of living. The reason the Institute was founded is to uh, provide an avenue outside of the normal college department. Uh, there's three institutes on UVSC campus. What their focus is, and what our focus is, is to establish relationships, partners, agreements, contracts, funding streams outside of the college. Now, if a normal department would do that, it would have to come under the constraints of the, the college or the university. Because we have a separate institute, gives us some autonomy. We talked about having a, a, a memorandum of understanding with Dugway. If we were a regular department, we couldn't do that because we could not provide services outside the educational arena or the training arena to Dugway. But since we're an institute, we can have that flexibility to do that. How does that be benefit the others? Well, if, if uh, Dugway has training for weapons of mass destruction, which is what they focus on, it's also part of our hazmat training and our hazmat education. The Institute establishes partnerships with all levels of government, military, and academic organizations, offering a bridge to services and needs of the emergency responder and homeland security communities. Some of our efforts include partnerships with Dugway Proving Ground, the Homeland Security and Defense Education Consortium, the Naval Postgraduate School, and Laramie County Community College. The Institute currently publishes the quarterly Straight Tip magazine and will soon publish the Journal of Emergency Services. This new publication is devoted to homeland security and security education for the emergency and military responder community. The Institute of Emergency Services and Homeland Security prides itself in implementing the latest technology as we build upon the foundation of the Utah Fire and Rescue Academy which has provided training and education of Utah's firefighters and emergency personnel. We look forward to many years of continued and expanded service to the fire, EMS, and law enforcement communities.